Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about about Christians that are sheep wrapped in wolves wolves clothing. Okay. This will be this will be interesting. Interesting with the backfires I'm going to be getting. Basically, you know, it got, it, I'm not really just talking about Christianity, but I am going to be mainly focused on it. But it it, got, it goes with all religions and faith, one faith, Christianity. But with with Christians, you know, you got people, guys and gals, pretending to be to to be Christians when they're not. They just you know I mean they got their own reasons why they want to be like that um, I mean I think it's to do with people not pressurizing them to become to become Christians that's I do believe that's one of the main main reasons the other reason is you know it's just a it's just a hide away from prying eyes that's just, which is the same as before what I said in the first reason but you know to be real with you and to be blatant with you you know it will be exposed eventually because that person that's hiding the, the, the one that's hiding behind Christianity is is going to get fed up of it eventually and, and eventually they're gonna have to come out come out come out with it because the danger is when when we hide and we start going to church and that you know th there's elders in the church and leaders in the church that will sus, sus suss you out and they'll basically they'll basically watch you and watch how watch how you carry yourself and they analyze you whenever basically whenever whenever a preacher sorry whenever 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 a new 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 person comes into a church they the leaders you know uh, straight away when they when they know someone that's foreign that comes in, into a, into a church straight away the leaders are are onto them you know with prying eyes just you know ready to 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 look to look out not 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 to not to be harmful but just because they have to do it they have to do it as as believers as Christians to protect God's congregation and to protect the vulnerable that's in church the people that are not quite there yet, not quite strong enough to be Christians, and 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 to be and to be genuine Christians, and to to prevent people from 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 you know the, the sheep wrapped in wolves, the sheep the, the wolf to to, pr to to protect the wolves, to protect to protect against to protect against the wolves, trying to pull pull Christians out of the church, heartfelt, born again, spirit filled Christians that are you know <coughs> because you know the, the the devil uses so many so many strategies to try and pull people out of church pull, pull people out, pull, pull people out of christianity and yeah so yeah and so i'm just writing something in here So yeah, that's that's you know it's it's a form of protection, protecting the congregation, and you know we can we you know we can we can all try and try and hide hide behind the Christianity, hide hide you know you know have have be be sheep sheep wrapped in wolves clothing. We can be like that however long we like. But the thing is, you know, eventually it's going to come out, like I said to you before, it's going to come out because eventually the 
the person that's doing it is is, the, is going to get fed up of it because because it's it's been been exposed and it's like a niggling feeling on them. They'll have a niggling feeling on them and they'll feel uncomfortable. So and that's where it gets exposed. So and they won't be able to cope with it eventually. And 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 the dangerous thing as well, especially when they when they if they if they keep hiding it and. And and keep not reveal not re not revealing it, not revealing it, you know who they truly are, because you know, w you know every human being wants to be a human being, and and not everybody wants to, not not you know some people want to hide who they are, want to have want to live a double life, and some people don't you know want to be genuine, and you know let the genuine be the be the genuine, and and let the the false let the false falsehood person or the false person be exposed in Jesus name but you know when 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 that happens and they try to keep hiding it the people that are, that are hiding behind Christianity what it is is that especially when they come to church and the most dangerous thing and the most catastrophic thing is that when So yeah, the the danger is basically when when we hide be behind when we hide behind it, you know, us we hide behind Christianity and not being genuine. Basically, I will show you the because basically when we do that, like I said before, basically what happens is we we can we can end up being sick ourselves ourselves as non-believers or people that are people that are sheep wrapped in wolf's, wolf's clothing or basically people that hide it you know people that hide hide behind Christianity you can end up being sick or even go as far as being being killed being condemned condemned to death you know so that's why you have to be careful and sorry to shock you but um but also I'm going, I'm going to sh prove it to you that it that it's actually real and I'm not just making this, these things up. So, in one moment, I'm reading from First Corinthians 11 in the New King James Version (NKJV) in the Bible, and, it, and it's and I'm starting from verse. 17 where it says conduct at the Lord's Supper it says now in giving these instructions I do not praise you this is Paul speaking since you come together not for the better but for the worse the 18 for for first of all when you come together as a church comma I hear that there are divisions among you and in and in part I believe it v19 for there for there must also be factions among you factions among you that those who are uh, those who those who are approved may be rec recognized among you v20 therefore when you come together in one place it comma it is not to eat the Lord's Supper full stop V twenty one for in for in eating each one takes his own supper ahead of others semicolon and one and one in hung and one is, is hungry and and another is drunk v22 what do what do you not have houses to eat and drink in in that says or do you despise the the church of god and shame those who have nothing what shall i say to you shall i praise you in this i do not praise you and the next title, Insti in Institution of the Lord's Supper, V23. For I received from the Lord 
that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread v24 and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me v25 in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me v26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death till till he comes title examine yourself v27 therefore whoever eats this this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the of the body and blood of the Lord v28 but let let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the of the bread and drink of the cup v29 for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks drinks judgment to himself not discerning the Lord's body v30 for this reason many are weak and sick among you and many and many sleep when it says sleep I, I do believe it means death and it says v31 for if we would judge ourselves we would not be judged v32 but when we we are judged we are chit when we are judged we are chast ch ch chast chastised by the lord that we may not be condemned with the work with the world therefore v34 therefore my brethren when you come together to eat wait for one another v34 last one v34 sorry but if anyone is hungry let him eat at home lest you come together sorry I read that again lest you come together for judgment and the rest I will set in order when I come so yeah you see how I'm not making these things up it's deadly serious I mean you could say to me I'll avoid church next time but you know that's fine you can avoid it but when you're amongst Christians you know your 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 trueness will be exposed and fully bare but let me give you the let me give you the meaning of this word where was it now this word fact factions yeah it means small organized dissent dis dissenting group within a large one especially in politics or church basically 
so yeah you know we have to take these things seriously we shouldn't just overlook these things you know when it comes to hiding behind Christianity it's not a case of you know it's not a case of you know I will never be and I will never be and I will never be found you know as a sheep wrapped in wolf's clothing or I will never be found because all I got to do is avoid church but if we if we have a look if we have a look look around us we'll always encounter Christians wherever we go and Christians are spreading globally so we can try try and hide it but you know we will we'll always be around some some Christians or any kind of Christian so you know so you go to the doctors you you'll meet a GP that's a Christian you go to you go to you go to the shops you you meet a G, GP that's a uh, sorry you meet a Christian in the shop you go to your workplace you'll meet a Christian there you go to a, you go you go overseas you'll meet a Christian there anywhere you go literally anywhere there's human beings you'll you'll definitely meet a Christian unless you live completely on your own isolated but it's not nice living isolated because some people can't cope with it as well as others but in general people can't cope with it anyway because the Bible talks about the Bible talks about in the Old Testament it says it's not good for man to it's not good for man to be alone when Adam and Eve was created when 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 Eve was about, was about to be created and it said and God said when when God said when when basically when 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 man, when 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 the world was created and, and all the livestock and every 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 natural products was created God looked around and, and noticed that Adam was had, Adam had no 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 partner so so that's when God said you know it's not good for a man to be alone and that's in the Old Testament Genesis so yeah you know I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do this video just to I'm not trying I'm not trying to do this video only just to condemn these these type of people these type of Christians supposed Christians I'm not trying to do this video just to con condemn you but I'm also give, trying to give you an understanding that you know be careful about hiding hiding yourself under Christianity so yeah that's really that's really all I have to say in this video so God bless Take care and peace be with you. Bye for now.